Hey you right guys, Trish Munches Joe here and today we are watching and reacting to episode 10 of The 100 Season 6. I actually enjoyed the last episode, I think it had some very good elements, some elements I wasn't too keen on um, but the big thing was that we lost Kane, rest in peace Kane, I mean like I said in that episode I'm glad that they got Henry Ian Cusack to come back for the role for that final scene because uh, it just wouldn't have felt the same if we had the other actor um, and like I said then as well, it's nothing against the actor, he actually did a very good job of playing the Kane character, it just we've had that connection to the original Kane for six seasons basically. So I'm glad they brought him back for that scene. I don't like I said, I don't know if they plan always planned on having killed him off, but it is a shame because uh, he was one of my favourite characters of the entire show. I think like from season one to how he was in season five, uh, the development was very, very strong. He had some of the best development in the entire show, so uh, yeah, a bit of a shame but I enjoyed the episode and I'm hoping now we can like start to pick because like cause I think a lot of people are confused in what I say with the last what four or five episodes is me thinking they've been bad I have not thought I don't think there's been a single bad episode in this season like actually bad episode none um I just think I'm like waiting for it to really kind of pick up hopefully and yeah I think we're coming towards the end of the season now so that's what I mean maybe things will really start to kick off and I just really want Clark back I know she's kind of taken uh, control back over from Josephine, but that's like temporar temporarily, so we'll see what happens, but yeah. Anyway guys, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like, if you're new, remember to subscribe, if you want the uncut and, oh that's not early, so if you just want the uncut reaction to the episode of 100, then a link to the Patreon page will be down below, which really does help support the channel as well. Also links to Twitter, Instagram and my new channel, as well as a new podcast which started yesterday, so if you want to check that out, we talk about film and TV. And yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. So that'll be linked down below. You can get on Spotify and it should be iTunes soon. iTunes are all over the place, but yeah. Anyway, guys, let's do this. You want to risk losing our head? This is just like way better. Just some two kind of bouncing off each other. I wouldn't be lying that until I knew they were completely gone. Not gonna lie, but I mean. Observation blind. We built them all over. She loves lair. Species in their natural habitat. It would mean letting you resurrect again. Would he do it? Oh, she's uh. Are you alright, Clark? No. Oh dear. No, 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 not now. He's stuck here by net by falling asleep. Through it, Clark will be locked inside a drive inside. So please don't do this. Lives. Oh, that looks sick. I love that I've changed all the intro, dude. Russell, these people know the truth about us. How long till it spreads to our people and they come after us? An example must be made. If you think I'm executed, she's gonna. Not I think she's she gonna like go off on her own and do something stupid. Who's helping to hide the other two and they burn with them? Listen to yourself. Russell still has like I good in him. Feel, I feel it too. Like he's messed up, but that, this is what I like him. He's not completely like evil. Josephine, and we will have become just like them. But because I trust you, we'll only kill one. <coughs> Come on, Russell, time to step up. You've done nothing for like a few episodes. She laid down in the offering grove a year later, and I still believed. I believed. Fuck. Yo, Echo needs to be using that bow and arrow, I hope. <laughs> Probably better than they do in Riverdale. Oh my god, when Cheryl came out of that bow and arrow. Cringe. What you told us? Nothing yet. Once enough people know the truth, we can change things. I know Simone. She'll make them choose who dies themselves. How do we stop? No, no. We don't. And get me to a window with a view of the execution. I mean. slow down. Come on, Echo. You're not assassinating anyone. Riker, admit it. It feels good to be on the right side. It's a god damn it, it does. If you miss, I love it. It's doing a lot of setup for the episode. I won't miss. Who will they choose? Well, that's easy. Murph. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be me, isn't it? It should be you, traitor. Echo will think of something. Bloody hope so. She misses that shot. Tell her traitor. 
<laughs> body going in. Stole her daughter's body. Abby, don't go with Georgie, because you, you, you got no right. She was already dead. Abby, he made a deal to save all of us. When he found out she was still alive, he did the right thing. Eventually. I knew that was coming as well. I knew that was coming. And I hate Abby even more. You better hope your friend Echo gets us out of here because if she doesn't... Abby? I want to kill you. Can we you. choose you? Can we choose Abby? Can we choose Abby and then can Echo aim the bow at whoever's about to execute her? See that's Abby and then go, actually, no. I'm not going to save Abby's life. Hey! Dor. Why are your memories on my side of the wall? Uh. You know why. Now, it's too late. Are they like integrated? I like how this is inside Clog's mind and they've actually made it a location this cool. If we don't think of something fast, you die and my mind drive is lost forever. So how about we cut the sarcasm and Oh dear oh, just kill you again. Without the door to my side, I don't know where I go. Pull the trigger. What is it you say? Go float yourself. <laughs> I love how that's the version of float yourself. It's just class. You know there's shirts that say that. Well, she, she, is she like dumping her memories or something? It worked. Come on, help me. We have to do this. <laughs> this is cool. I don't. I don't remember what you took. I just. Oh, she's I know that it's gone. losing her memories. We have to do this, or our brain dies. Oh, that's kind of but sad, dude. She's gonna lose all memories. Because we're all getting out of here tonight. Echo, doing the execution. Rest easy, Murphy. <laughs> it's like very last minute. The going tonight is Russell. Why Russell? Can't we kill like everyone but Russell? We are all upset with what's happened, Simone. Hopefully, next time the two of you will involve us in your decisions before they spiral out of control. Where's Jordan? Apologies. Have they said? But I have. I sacrificed my child in the offering grove. Is he going to try and murder him or something? No child's command. But you're not. It's all a lie. He's going to do something. If there's any justice left in this world, your child will die in those same woods. You just say. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was so quick. Whatever I have to do. At least it was her and not Russell for... Because I actually wanted her to die, so... I'm not too... Distraught. That's gonna make him rage though, dude! Oh, now he's gone. Now he's gone. Oh, that was the thing. That was the thing that did it. Josephine. Just let me watch a little more. Oh, uh, she's got... This is a memory she's gotta get rid of. Why not? How long I love you for? Oh, it's kind of sad. Like if this if this was a character we cared about and they had to get rid of their memories. We can let the bad things that happen to us define who we are. I love this room. Whoever thought of this idea of a room and designed it? Perfect. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. Oh my god. The music is all really cool. This is mad. Everything in here will fucked out at once, including us. We have to get back to All the memories? Oh my god. I mean, that'll help. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> the perfect place to like. Oh, they just happened to find it. And they should pick us oh. Okay, that makes more sense. I was gonna say, that was a bit like plot armory. It's still a little bit plot armory. Wait, what? Hold on. What happened to Clark? What? Help! Unreal. Kill the girl. Take Gabriel prisoner. And get me home. 
No. <laughs> Ruined. Who the f is that? Echo. Oh. Oh. Because of course it is. Yeah, oh, we haven't seen all episodes. That makes sense. It sounded like a woman's voice when I thought because I thought that was him speaking. <laughs> if he hurts any of my people, he'll never see his daughter again. Go. Touche. Oh, he's still salty at her? It makes sense. It's like nothing. He hasn't seen that. She's changed a bit, so. I won't let you take this child. Get the hell out of my sight before I wrap this chain around your throat for disobeying me. All right, Maddie. She changed the passphrase. The passphrase. Yeah, we need clock back for Maddie as well. Like we've still got the Maddie problem. What happens if you think for one second I am going to let you kill that child? Oh, I'll be shut up. You let that thing come in one crew. Time's up. Let's move. Uh, well, looks like I'm the lucky winner. What did don't pick Murphy? Change of plans. Oh. Russell Lightborn the seventh, savior of Sanctum, has issued a new order. Kill all. The child is spared, but the rest of you yeah. will burn at the stake for your crimes. What? All of them. Yeah, I knew that. Bye, Seda. Oh my god, come on. And gave life to every single one of you. Simone and I have loved And you. Echo can't kill all of these people. Damn it, stop. He's lying! Oh, what do you mean? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Oh. No! family oh shut up why was he behind her why would you let we do for the dream that was how it's got to be bellamy or some Again, fuck's sake i have no clue how to get out of this Russell. do you think your bones might have wound up in the well quarry he's gone look at his face oh, wait, wait, listen, listen. we can still make night plans. So listen to me, okay? You can still save your wife. Bone marrow. Oh my god. He's telling the truth. Abby can do it. Just like she did it for Claire. <laughs> like tried bone marrow transplantation a hundred years ago. You don't know the formula. And if you kill us... Bone marrow, that's not a good out of this. I remember the bone marrow scene in season two. Well, that was easy. I thought someone was going to swoop in on a Gatling gun or something. Oh, they're still going to kill him though. Because he killed the yeah his wife. Through fire. We purify second. That makes sense. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> was it worth it, Russell? <laughs> Was it worth it? <gasps> they were all going to burn. I'm actually glad they just kill them all off. If I remove her drive, I'll need you to quickly bandage the wound before I restart her heart. You're stopping her heart? Death causes her to back up onto the drive. I'll be resurrected again. And he's not sure if he can let them take another innocent life. Oh. For in that sleep of death. Dude. What dreams may come. It's kind of sad. <laughs> you know that there's another way. If you let me keep this body, nobody else has to die. <laughs> ben is like, no more yeah, that ain't this. I know that I've done bad things. I don't remember them all. We can still be together, my love. It's kind of sad. You take out the drives. I, I've loved you for centuries. <laughs> it's time to let you go. We had our time. Oh, yeah. I have to let you go now. There you go. Oh, so good acting, dude. Good acting, right? Like I say, he's been a good actor for other seasons before. Is that 
Josephine and Don. I mean, yeah, technically her drive's still there. So he's... We'll see. We'll see. Go on, Clark. Oh, shit. That's cool. Cover the wound. Um. Why isn't she waking up? Why? Why am I still here? Because I'm still here. Unreal. Satan is mine. Are you joking? Gonna be the surgical mesh. I'm sorry about the whole working together thing, but. That's what you do. I'm sorry. But a brain can no longer support two minds. They're both still in there. What? Wow. activity continues for a short time after death. Pardon that. Pardon that. Come on, dude. Help. Dude, I swear to God. losing him again. Come on, Clark. Come on. Dude. Clark. Clark, I need you. I need you. need you. Now wake up. She's gone. No. no, she's not. Wake up, Clark. Come on. Oh she's my gone. God. I'm not letting you go. You're a fighter. Now get up and fight. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh. Though, dude, like, he's but Josephina was a little shit. Oh, that was so good. That was such a good scene. That was like the best scene of the season. Clark just wakes up and bashes Josephina with the oh my god. Better be like Patty. That gave me um, lost vibes with the well, it's spoiled, but one of the scenes in um season one when he's like bashing on someone's chest but yeah there we go guys that's episode 10 of the 100 season six the best episode in a long time i'd say like i say the last three episodes have not been bad just, i just think they've been good this was the first great episode in a long time which i, I loved there's just a lot of like intricate storytelling for the 100 i guess and they set up the episode really well in like the first five minutes of what was going to happen uh and I love this whole one one v one battle between Josephine and Clark, which we've had in the you know the previous couple of episodes, but here it was just really well done. And uh, the fact that she's like playing along to kind of work with her, and then slip, try to kill Clark off at the end there. Just I think that's Josephine and done. Like I know she still has the drive, so like I say, maybe not. Never say never with the show, but we'll see. But that last scene was so well done, dude. Bob Morley with the acting, coming in with the acting, dude. And yeah, I don't, I don't know, just, and then, the, oh, the, the yeah, the fire burn scene. I was like, there was like a really big scene, was it? The bit where they were like, uh, gonna be all burnt alive. I knew something was gonna come in, like, imagine if they just burned them all off, but I don't know, the whole bone marrow thing I thought was a bit easy, maybe. Like, it's just more my bloods, and yeah, Russell will see that as like, I can bring my wife back. Um, I did think the transition with him was very quick. Which I thought was weird. Like he saw his wife die, but then he's like, "I'll bring you back," and then he was just like, "Oh, now I'm gonna murder them all." It's just like, eh. Like it wasn't even like Raven or Murphy who killed his wife. I know it's because of them, really. But I don't know. I thought the transition. I, that's what I like about Russell is he has that kind of good side. To, well, not anymore, I guess. But he has that good side to him where he doesn't want a whole war. He does want peace at the end of the day, but he just want to just keep his generation kind of living on. That's his only, like, real big flaw. But he always had that good side to him, and that's what I liked about him. But I thought the transition to him was very quick, um, which was... It, it was it was fine. It wasn't, like, a really, like, oh, that was way, way off for his character. It was, like, he still had that kind of bad side to him, I guess, what he did. So I do understand it, but I think it was just, like, a little sudden. But either way, Russell is one of the best villains I've had in the 100, without a doubt. I really like him. Because he's not necessarily just a straight out villain, you can really see his kind of side of things, even if you don't agree with it. But yeah, so I like the Russell side of things. Um, 
there was, I guess, Leia Beer and Octavia, and, you know, she kind of reunited with the main crew, I guess, with Bellamy there. And they're also going back to Sanctum and, you know, save everyone, I'm sure, which would be fun. But, yeah, overall, just a very strong episode. I, the last scene was really well done. I, I kind of felt bad for Josephine in the middle as well, which is kind of like having to lose all of her memories to keep the brain alive. I thought that was really interesting. And I know we've had the episode before that where they were kind of inside Clark's mind, but I just love how they do it where they had like Josephina's memories kind of coming into Clark's space, like showing that they were entwining kind of, and they just needed to, you know, get rid of some of the memories to keep the brain alive. I thought that was, seeing it visually inside the brain was really, really cool. So instead of like just being told that, if you're being told that, it's like every other show and you're just kind of like, okay, cool. Well, let's do but actually seeing it and seeing Josephine have to lose her memories and stuff, um, added a bit more emotion behind it, which I really liked, and just made it more visually appealing, I guess, and more entertaining to watch. So, yeah, and it's like that with the scene, the episode, sorry, where it's Clark versus Josephine kind of thing, and they were running through Clark's brain and being hunted down. Like the, I said that about that episode as well, it's just kind of very different how any other show would do it. So, yeah, overall, very strong episode. I'm going to give this one an... I'll go 8 out of 10. I think it's a very great episode, and... I correct if I'm wrong, we only have three episodes left. I think there's only 13 episodes a season, so I, th I might be wrong, but I think there's three episodes left. Uh, so yeah, the big, the big, you know, final run. We'll see what happens. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what the episode down below in the comments. And if you want the uncut reaction to this episode and all the rest for the 100, then a link to that Patreon page will, of course, be down below, which really does help support the channel as well. Also, check out the podcast and the new channel, which will be in the pinned comment. Just see if it's something that you're interested in. If not, fair enough then. But... Yeah, hope to see you there. Until next time, though, guys. Bye, peace.